welcome to Promo Insiders, a podcast from ASI's Counselor Magazine. In this weekly series, we tackle the topics that matter most to the promotional products industry, from hard-hitting news to fun trends. I'm Executive Editor Sarah Lavendusky, and today I'm joined by Kevin Quinn, Director of Business Development at Top 40 Distributor Boundless. When shutdowns began last March and everyone was sent home to work remotely, Kevin began sending daily emails to his colleagues to encourage them through this difficult time. Nearly a year later, as the pandemic continues, he sent nearly more than 200 emails to his grateful team. So welcome, Kevin, and thanks so much for joining us today. And if you have questions for Kevin about this special project, please put them in the comments box and we'll address them during the conversation. So welcome, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Sure. So tell us what the early days of the pandemic were like for you and the team at Boundless back in uh, March 2020. You know, I think uh, like most people, it was rather chaotic and the uncertainty was um, the most difficult part. Uh, You know, many of us thought that, okay, we'll be home for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then um, we'll get back to so-called normal. Um, And, uh, you know, what what struck me at the time was that uh, people needed hope, that... um, There were a lot of folks just worried about job security, worried about their health, worried about the silly things like uh, toilet paper, right? And um, so it seemed like a time that, that people could use a little dose of hope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and I think um, the, the idea for the emails came about pretty early. I think it was only a few days after everyone was sent home. How did you come up with this idea to send these emails? And um, when did you start, you know, sending them? What were you envisioning for them when you first started sending them? So, um, you know, I just wanted to know, I, I kind of was like everyone else. What, what can I do? What, um, what part can I play in making this better for anybody um, or bringing some relief to people? And um, as I sat and thought about it, and actually what I was thinking of was, you know, it must be hard if you don't have any hope. And I happen to be very blessed to be a person with, I guess the saying is cup half full or half empty. Well, I'm kind of a cup floweth over kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And um, I get an extra dose of encouragement and help, hope. So I thought that I would... uh, see if I could share that with others. And um, Boundless has a unique, um, or has a Google group that uh, we're able to share amongst uh, different sales folks and uh, inside sales and ask questions, help each other with best practices and such. So I just uh, sent out a message and asked if uh, folks would be Uh, open to receiving an email and um, just let them know that, you know, as a Christian, there might be some Christian overtones. And if anyone felt like they'd be offended, why let me know and I wouldn't send them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, how have the emails evolved over time? And and now, you know, almost a year later, what does the typical email look like? What are the different components and where do you find your inspiration for them? I mean, you're putting them together daily. So it must be like you need to find inspiration kind of quickly. So what does that look like for you? What are their components and where do you find the inspiration for the content? So I think initially um, the way they have uh, have changed over time or transpired in initial times, I felt like um, it was important to let people know what industries were still buying or still active and and still moving along, weren't laying off and things of that nature so that uh, folks had an idea of people who they could address at that time and possibly still get some business. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, uh, they started, they, every email starts with a quote. And so I tried to find quotes that were inspiring um, or quotes that helped um, folks in the past persevere. Mm-hmm. And uh, the people that I was quoting are uh, like um, Henry Ford and Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, Winston Churchill. Mm-hmm. And it's quite interesting to find some of the quotes, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and over time, I've just pulled those from books. I've, I've pulled them from Google. I've um, uh, currently, I just finished a book, and the author had put uh, four or five pages of his favorite quotes at the end of the book. 
And so fortunately, I turned to the last page and said, well, look at this. They gave me some candy at the end. <laughs> um, so as far as the, the email itself, it starts with a quote. And then I, I give just my commentary of what I think about the quote. Um, and then I add a scripture verse that I feel like um, speaks to that same quote. Mm -hmm. um, and a business tip, some of which are tips of things that I've actually done myself, some of those that I just have to um, Google and find in different articles and such on the Internet. And then uh, I close it out with a prayer and a, and a link to a song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it sounds like a lot of the, you mentioned the introductory quotes, a lot of them, it sounds like the people that you're quoting um, especially someone like Winston Churchill was going through, uh, you know, very tumultuous times, you know, during World War II, very, a lot of adversity that they had to overcome. So where can we mine, you know, the, the wisdom that they gleaned from that time, their own wisdom, where, what can we glean from that today? You know, that's very interesting. So, and as you mentioned, you know, you're a faithful Christian. What has been the importance of faith, hope? I would say even gratitude this year, especially when so much is out of our control, as we found. Yeah, I think gratitude's a great word. And, um, you know, some things, I think it's often important for us to put things in perspective of, of how bad do we have it or how great did we have it? This might be the better question. And, um, you know, I think to myself, and, and I've heard uh, folks speak in the past that have visited foreign countries and talk about folks that carry a five gallon bucket of water a couple of miles every morning just so they can have what what they call fresh water, what you and I would probably only use to water our plants with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if you if you look at things through those perspective that perspective and and you're able to still walk to your sink and and get yourself a glass of water, why things are still really pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's a, a, a shift of perspective. And I th also, I, um, I get a lot of the encouragement from myself from different sermons that I listen to throughout the week or podcasts or um, that I read. And um, one of the uh, things that I heard uh very early on, or, or maybe a month or so in, was um, from a pastor out of Atlanta named Andy Stanley. And he said, what can we learn from this? So, um, you know, we're in the midst of difficult times, and we are facing uncertainty, and our sales may have dropped. Um, but, but what can we learn? Did we learn maybe we need to diversify our client base a little bit? Um, maybe we need to... Uh, save a little more for the future so we're prepared if something like this were happening again and there's some really good questions that we can ask ourselves that um are not so focused on gosh this was hard but what what are the good takeaways from it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well said um so now what are your plans for the emails moving forward? Because, you know, as we've seen, like it's 2021, the pandemic is still with us. I think all of us could keep, you know, we all still need those words of reassurance and encouragement. So kind of what are your you know plans for the coming months? For I know this is a lot of work and I know it's, it's a labor of love for you, but I know it, it does take time. So what is your, what is your plan for uh, the coming months in terms of these emails and continuing to send them to your team? You know, I, I hate to say that I don't have a plan, but that would be the truth. Um, however, I, I, at this point in time, I don't see any reason to stop. Um, I get a lot of good encouragement from the folks at Boundless um, that read the emails and that, you know, a portion of it has spoken to them or what have you, or uh, they were able to use a tip. And um, that helps me just uh, keep rolling and, yeah, it's as long as uh, I can wake up in the morning and type, um, there's no, no reason to slow down. And I'd love to share the optimism and the hope that I have. And, um, you know, I think everybody uh, needs just a hand up every once in a while and know, needs to know that there's somebody in their corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that. Very well said as well. 
Um, so if anyone listening would like to be on the list to receive Kevin's emails, you can email him at kquinn, K, sorry, K-Q-U-I-N-N at balancenetwork.com. So thank you for being with us today, Kevin. And for more industry coverage, please head to asicentral.com slash news. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a good day. Mm-hmm.